Hello and welcome to another episode of Upside Daily. Upside Daily is a daily podcast that empowers you to live from grace, to find your purpose in life and challenge you to personal growth. Now this podcast runs daily every Monday to Thursday and it features about an 8 to 10 minute inspirational devotional led by yours truly, Ioannis Dekas. My prayer is that our time together will empower you to live with faith, love and hope as a city changer. This daily podcast can be accessed on my Facebook page or your favorite podcast channel. All that you need to do is just to search for Upside Daily and remember to subscribe. Now, over the last few episodes, we've been chatting about the topic of the power of identification with Christ. And today, I want to share with you about discovering that identification with Christ is more than just a learned knowledge. It's more than just something that you learn and understand with your mind. Something happens on the inside. When you recognize that being crucified with Christ is not something that you and I can attend, It's not something that we can accomplish in our lives. You know, when Paul made this comment and he said, I have been crucified with Christ, what he wasn't saying in that moment was that he has been trying very hard for the last 30 years to live a life that in some other shape or form reflects just the glory of God. It was not just a sense of knowledge. You see, what he was saying was, You did not see me physically in Jerusalem. I wasn't physically there. But by revelation knowledge, I know that in God's eyes and in the mind of God, I was there. It's through revelation knowledge that I know that when Jesus died, I died. When he was buried, I was buried. When he was made alive, I was made alive. And when he was raised and seated at the right hand of God, I was sat down there with him. God saw me there. Everything that Jesus did, he did so that you and I could be included into that reference. You see, you may ask yourself, but how could I have been included? Here's the simple answer to that. You were identified in Christ before the fall ever even happened. You see, our identification with Christ, our inclusion into that moment, did not come after the fall as if God was making this emergency plan. You know, oh my goodness, what are we going to do and what has happened? God saw you in his son with the potential of many brethren. He saw his son becoming the master copy of the whole human race. We read this earlier in the week, and I'd love to read it to you again. Ephesians 1 verse 4 that says, He chose us to be his very own, joining us to himself even before he laid the foundation of the universe. Listen, you were joined to God before the universe was laid. Because of his great love, says Ephesians, he ordained us, he ordained me and you so that we would be seen as holy in his eyes with unstained innocence. If you and I can just understand um, that the cross was that image that, you know, if you just think about the cross, that image was, was the redemptive center, is still the redemptive center of the entire world. What happened on the cross is an eternal God event. We give it in our natural understanding, we give it a time and a place for historical purposes. But in the realm of eternity, it was an eternal God event that can be visited at any point and at any time as though it were happening right now. In 1 Peter 1, we read these precious words. It says, but the precious blood of Christ who like a spotless, unblemished lamb was sacrificed for us. This was part of God's plan, for he was chosen and destined for this before the foundation of the earth was laid. But he has been made manifest in these last days for you. When you you get in the spirit, when you see this, instead of seeing your death and shame and guilt and sorrow, sickness and poverty, you can see your condition in Christ and the fact that you were crucified with him. When you get that in the spirit, you can say that 
which happened on the cross, that was my death. I was there. See, and if you were there in the crucifixion, you were also there in the resurrection. And if you were there in the resurrection, you were also there in the ascension. You know, even as I'm typing these words on my notes, I'm typing on Google Docs, and it's fascinating for me that when I type about Christ, Google Docs recognizes by autotype that Christ can be seated at the right hand of God. So as I'm typing, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm typing Christ can be seated. And, and Google Docs actually preempts that. It, it actually completes the sentence for me. And all I do is I just press a little arrow and it types out the whole sentence. But when I type the sentence that I am seated at the right hand of God, Google Docs doesn't recognize that. Autotype does not recognize that. Because in our understanding, we've come to a place where we've thought, you know, the, the crucifixion was just the crucifixion of Jesus. When we think about the ascension, it was just the ascension of Jesus. But here's the reality. Something did not just happen to Jesus, but because he was the blueprint, because he was the reference, you and I were included in that with an incorruptible seed. Again, if we go to Peter, um, 1 Peter 1 verse 23 says, For through the eternal and living word of God, you have been born again. Not by our attempt, not by me praying a sinner's prayer, not by me fasting more or, you know, going to church. Through the eternal living word of God, I have been born again. And this seed, says Peter, that he planted within you, within me, can never be destroyed. It is incorruptible, but you will live and grow. This seed will live and grow inside of you forever. This is what God desires for me and you to discover, that we are found in him. This is not something that you learn just with your mind. This is something that is revealed to you. The Apostle Paul writes in his letter to Philippians in chapter 3, verse 9, he says, My passion is to be consumed with him and not clinging to my own righteousness based in keeping the written law. My righteousness will be his based on the faithfulness of Jesus Christ, the very righteousness that comes from God. And I continually Long to know the wonders of Jesus more fully and to experience the overflowing power of his resurrection working me. I will be one with him in his sufferings and I will be one with him in his death. Only then will I be able to experience complete oneness with him in his resurrection from the realm of death. Oh, my goodness. You know what my prayer for you today is, is that it will go for, for you beyond just a learned knowledge, beyond just listening to a podcast, but that something will be ignited in your spirit. Thank you so much for joining me on Upside Daily. If you want to connect more um, with some of the things that I'm busy with, you can connect with Doxadale Online Campus on our website, doxadale.church. Remember, tomorrow I'll be chatting about uh, where this starts in the rock. It's going to be another great discovery about the power of identification with Christ. Live blessed. See you tomorrow. <music>